So once you open that zip file send you, you're going to see something with this. We've got all your folders for your manufacturers. The first thing you're going to want to open is this Ithaca 950 harness. It's a Word document. I don't have Word on this PC, so it's gobbledygook. But I've printed one out. common sense really I've just got here see pin 2 it's a red cable if we receive transmit on pin 3 which is black for me ground is pin 5 pink for me just so you can get a uh, relation to what I'm doing here so so pin 5 is your pink pin 3 is your black and pin 2 is a red the other end I've just got oh, uh, audit reset switch harness, the, the cabinet end, I've just chopped it out of the cabinet. You're going to look at this picture as it says this way. And I've just got my two grounds tied together. To put the printer into a downloadable state, we're just going to take the power off. I'm going to plug in my mail and in the printer. Plug that into your comms on your PC. We're going to slide the printer open, the tray open. We're going to open the top door, hold the feed button, and re-power, reapply power, which I'm doing with my right hand. You can let go then. We've got a fault solid red and a ready flashing green. So let's take this out of the holder. Make it easier. Close that out. So, like I said, you can set up on a PC or just open it directly from this DXE. I've got my board rate, I've got my board rate set here at 115200, which is relatively fast. I think the default is around about here and it's terribly slow, but it's just going to depend on your PC. Like I said that's where mine is. So that's in the downloadable state. Now we can get printer information just to make sure it's communicating with the printer. Come out of the bootloader revision, there we go. Uh, that was the last program I've got here, 952, which is Aristocrat, so I'm just going to select a file. I'll probably just go back to choose something else, maybe an Ainsworth. 2431 for the A560. I'm going to open. So that's queued, and then Download, communicating, start update. So, like I said, you just have to um, it'll take a couple a minute, maybe a minute and a half. Like I said, just chop audit reset harness on the cabinet end is a male and it's got four wires already. Um, just get a little nine pin serial connected. Like I said, I'll just take, take the covers off just so you can see. So, put that back together normal. Like I said, it's pretty simple. Pin five is ground, pin three is transmit, pin two is receive. This diagram does say that you can go RX to TX here, but it doesn't seem to work. I don't know why. So, anyway, just run power to the printer and just use that port here instead. Update completing 38%, almost there. You can't really do anything else while it's downloading. Um, if you've got like a production line running of printers, you know, you've got heaps of them to do, once it finish, finishes downloading, you click OK. You just put the printer, the next printer, into a downloadable, a bootable, download bootable state. You don't have to keep reopening this. It will automatically pick up the printer once you plug it in, and you can just put download again. So, like I said, if you've just got ten aims worth to do with that two four three one uh, firmware, it's almost there. I don't have a, um, a USB version. I've never, well, I don't, I've never even tried with a USB to serial converter. It might work, but you'll, again, you'll probably have to play around with that board rate, the serial, there, serial performance. 
Um, but you said you've got a PC with a serial port. Almost there. So that's done. Like I say, you just click OK. Just unplug it and again get the next printer ready in with the bootable state. So it's slid open, door open, power on whilst pressing the feed. I'm not going to worry about it for this one. So we'll just close, close. See, so it's still in the downloadable state at the moment. We're just going to take that down, pull it out. And I'm just going to repower the printer and it's just going to take a second just to reinitialize that flash for the new program so don't worry it's just going to take a little a second and it's going to print a ticket out with the current program on it so there at the Top, let focus. There we go. SO2431 is the firmware that's currently in there for an Ainsworth. Now, if you're not sure, you might have some printers already that have the correct firmware. You just need to either go into the machine, you can see it directly off there, or while the machine, while the printer is powered, press and hold the feed button until it starts printing. So it's been hold, held at the moment. Once it's started, you can let go. And it will print the same ticket out, so like I said, you can go. Oh, it's already got 2431 in it, so I don't need to put it on it. And it's quite simple as that, so that's all you need to do.